My bad. I was supposed to do my thoughts on Guilty Gear Strive while I play in training mode. That's what people wanted me to do, talk over it like that. But I guess it goes to show you how much I actually play video games because I didn't really play yesterday because I assumed that I could just wake up this morning and go in training mode and give my thoughts on the game. My bad. You'll have to look at my face, I guess, while I talk about this game. Anyway, but, but overall, I mean, it's not really interesting for me to talk about anyway because, again, the game is two years old. I called the game two years ago. I've talked about the game and I've related it in many different concepts before. And the general idea of the game still doesn't change to me, nor does my opinion. And again, I think the game is actually more interesting than XR because it's more different. You know what I mean? There's more, it's a different game. And I respect it for that. Some of the characters are progressive. They have new different takes. You know what I mean? There's new different spins. I think that is interesting, right? But even if we talk about the characters, then you're like, well, before in Guilty Gear, and of course, the game Guilty Gear itself system-wise is important, as are the characters. But I feel like before in Guilty Gear, it teeter-tottered on the idea that the characters were more special than the game. There's so many really interesting, well-designed characters in the game. And the characters really kind of showed off the system, right? Now I feel like it teeter-totters on the idea, once again, that the system itself is more important than the characters. And the characters are secondary. You know, which is kind of ironic because, again, the characters are still kind of the best thing about the game because the game is kind of, it's meh. I mean, again, I, I like it from a perspective that I think is more interesting than XR as a, as a fighting game. And even on that subject, too, I know a lot of people are like, well, you know, people are saying, like, oh, people hate this game because it's like not like XR or it's not like, you know, Accent Core or whatever like this. I actually don't give a fuck. I just care about the fighting game itself as a whole that's why i don't give a fuck that it's different than xr it doesn't matter to me i'm interested in the game itself and the problem with the game itself is like i said i feel like they put all their eggs in one basket live by the sword die by the sword they're like wow this is our guilty gear it's like look at our rc system it's so amazing it's so much better than all these other systems whatever are in a, in a fighting game and it's like well this game it's like but the rc system isn't new we already knew how the R system, if you actually watched, we already knew how the R system, R system was going to work almost two years ago. It was already clear from watching the video. So all this stuff that people are doing, it's not really new. And of course, the wall is terribly flawed. I can't believe people even try to defend it. I've showed so many examples of it. Like there's that invisible time wall regeneration meter. So it's like when you theoretically even think about a person playing the game, it's like a, you, this game is supposed to be simpler, yet you think people are going to be able to like, oh, he hit me there, there, he hit me here, then I hit him there, but maybe he took another five frames to hit me here, so then when I hit the wall, I'll actually have another hit in my combo. And it's like, do you think people are going to memorize this when you're actually trying to play the game to an optimal level? I don't care that the wall breaks. I care that it's implemented terribly. Look at the different examples I've showed just in the corner. Like an example, say like, oh, you're spacing, you know, footsies, whatever you want to call it. And Kai hits a far slash. You have random options. You have the RC option, which is the most damaging option, actually. You have the super, the dumb reach safe option. Or you have just like a slide. Well, depending on how many frames it's been since you've actually even been pressuring the opponent. Because remember, you don't need to actually combo the guy to break the wall. You can still break the wall with just straight hits, okay? That, that, that still hasn't changed, okay? So it's like, well, how, how much of a break was between my straight hit? Did he hit me here? And I show in the video, there's literally times where you can hit that far stand slash in a footsie battle. And you're like, well, you're just going to guess. It's like, well, fuck. I want to kill the guy, so do I do my RC combo? But maybe I didn't wait a frame enough, and my RC combo will not work, and I'll go for this RC combo, which is going to do almost just as much as just me doing a slash to a slide, and then a DP. The, I, I, again, I don't care that the wall is breaking, but you can see it's implemented in a terrible way that discourages you from playing the game optimally playing the game to its fullest potential. It's a cheap pop, and it's a two-year-old cheap pop. It's not fucking interesting, okay? It's boring. I don't care that the wall breaks. I've actually said you could fix the wall and make it much more interesting easily, right? I think it's a, there's, there's an idea there. Well, there's, maybe I should say the idea of a wall is not bad. The idea how, how, how they implemented it is terrible. I don't want to give them credit for that. I mean, Jesus Christ, they still took away the sliding animation from the first beta and the earlier betas of that. 
They took that away. There's even less reasons to never not just break the wall. It just is a cheap pop and is a two-year-old cheap pop. I'm not impressed. But again, the idea of just having a wall, it's cool. Having a new spin on a game is, is whatever. Um, you know, again, it's ironic, again, that I think the best part of the game is the characters, but it's like they don't actually trust the characters. The characters are already being toned down, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, man, dude, your game is not that interesting, dude. You know, again, it's teeter-tottering. I'm not, I'm not saying there's no ideas here, but it's like your game is not that interesting for you to now teeter-totter on the system is more important than the characters. You should have kept it with the characters because the characters are the best part about the game still. You know, the different spins on the characters, the shock state, Chip's, Chip has different shit, you know, Potemkin's interesting, you know, blah, blah, blah. Even speaking of the characters, I talk about such a bizarre design or flaw. You know, my friend was laughing. Basically, it was like he just started, we just started crying because the game is so unfun to play, basically. And he was just like, you know, I guess we're just going to put in this terrible of music. So hopefully the music is so terrible, it distracts people from how bad the game is. Which, again, that, that's being a little harsh. But, you know, we, we're, we're laughing because the game is, it's almost two years old now and it's in this state. And even think about, um, look at that, uh, the soul example with the Grand Viper Loop, or Viper Vortex, whatever the fuck it's called in this game, dude. I don't remember, but, you know, when you looked at those changes of the game, they talked about, like, I guess when you do the same move, it sounded like characters were just going to fall faster. But actually, you know, just for, like, the Grand Viper Loop, what they did is you just can't dash cancel it. And you see stuff like that, and you're like, holy shit, dude. Are you telling me that people were practicing this game for a year and a half and no one tried that even once? This shit is so brain dead. You know, just like when I was saying, like, dude, jumping is going to be way too good in this game. And look at fucking, like I said, I'm not impressed with these content creators. Fucking Say Jam's chat, they forgot to delete all their posts. They were just a few weeks ago saying that I was going to be wrong and jumping is not too good in this game. And then the beta came out, and they're like, oh, Clayton is trying to act like he thought jumping was too good when he never said that. Holy shit, you forgot to delete. First of all, I don't know how the fuck <laughs> people can't see that I'm the one that predicted the game. Just like I have all these other games without ever playing them, dude. And it's like, you forgot, you guys, your fucking stupid chat, you stupid content creators forgot to delete your chats where you guys are talking about how I'm going to be wrong and don't listen to me about Strive. And then two weeks later, you're like, oh, Clayton is trying to act like he knew this was going to happen. The, the fucking retards of the community, dude. I don't give a fuck about Max either. I don't know, you know, maybe people like Max because Benny or some bullshit. I'm not impressed with these content creators, dude. They're fucking idiots. I, I don't give a fuck, dude. It's ridiculous, but... Um... Other things, uh, yeah, so it's like, what were they doing with this game for a year? It must be torture. Like, I guess, like, COVID is happening, so, like, maybe, like, Dice is like, hey, hey, dudes, you guys still working on this game? He's, like, checking over the computer, and whoever's working on the game, they're, like, jacking off the Ramothal, and they're like, oh, 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 shit, no, we're playing the game. Yes, yes, Dice K, we're playing the game. Good job, good job, keep, I mean, you know, it's COVID, so I, I gotta stay six feet away from you. I'm, I'm praying that you've been checking this game for a year and a half. And it's like, what have they been doing? This shit is so obvious, dude. It's so fucking ridiculous. On on the idea of jumping, you know what I mean? I would say the jumping stuff that they changed is uh, correlation doesn't equal causation. And this is why when I made my videos, and it's funny, because now you see actually people complaining about forward punches. And I think I think it's even worse than I've seen some people play. Like I think forward punches are way too strong in this game now. They are absurdly strong. Sorry, dude, I'm always sick, dude. Um, shit, dude. <clears throat> forward punches are just absurdly strong, and that's why I actually didn't even talk about forward punches before. Because I don't think forward punches were a problem before. Correlation does not equal causation. The forward punch change is, is a terrible change, I think. And they're so strong in this game. I was actually going to show that in training mode. Basically, if, if your attack can't hit the, the dude's feet now in this game, forward punch just automatically beats it, whatever. They're just so ridiculously strong. Correlation doesn't equal causation. Forward punches were not why jumping was too strong. People are like, oh, well, sometimes forward punches could get beat before. Okay. Do you think you should have a one-button move that beats everything? 
So you, forward punches are so ridiculously strong in this game too. And I wish, I, like I said, I I don't really play a lot of games, so I wasn't really checking up on this game. And I thought I would just be able to put it in this morning and show you. But you can tell, like, you know, they put in the trip guard stuff from, like, Street Fighter 2. And you can see a potential kind of mind game there, potential, why they put in trip guard. Because forward punches are so strong that you would think that you could be at, like, a distance where forward punch always beats you. And then there's a mind game of the character then jumping into whiff. And that's where you would sweep whatever, you know what I mean, to like, so there's like a mind game of there's that spacing, a more methodical kind of spacing. But forward punches are so strong, you literally don't even have to be touching the guy half the time and you can just beat them. So it's like, unless you have a character or a move, which is basically the exception in this game, that you couldn't beat their forward punch when you jump whatsoever. It's just a, it's way too easy to beat it. And since this is another concept I've talked about in games, Guilty Gear is not necessarily the most complicated game ever. And just think about when I talk about, I've made videos about this, talking about Guilty Gear, even in terms of like a Street Fighter Alpha. When you have games that take away moves, right? Take away buttons. Street Fighter Alpha didn't have close normals, right? So inevitably, some moves had to have multi-purpose because you have less buttons and they have multiple functions, right? I feel like functions is a meme in the community. but And then, of course, Street Fighter Alpha 2 is also a very hypocritical game because then... Even though you have moves that have multiple functions, you have some moves that are just designed so terribly they don't work whatsoever because they don't fit into any function over this other move. But anyway, blah, blah, blah. Even Guilty Gear before, you got to remember, Guilty Gear already has less buttons than Street Fighter, right? Not every move has a close normal. Not every special move has three different versions. So from that kind of standpoint perspective, Guilty Gear already is a simpler game than Street Fighter, right? And so you have this, quotation marks, simpler Guilty Gear, and to put a move that has so many functions, a versatile move as four punches are in this game, it's a complete clusterfuck. They're too strong as a poke, because basically, unless it's a low attack, you can't beat four punch. Jumping was just like, it, they're too invincible. Most characters just beat everything besides a few normals that I even could try. And they could potentially maybe beat a certain character's forward punch. And it's like, this is too obvious. Correlation doesn't equal causation. This was not the problem with jumping. Jumping was the chicken guarding was too strong and all this kind of stuff. That there's not FD, all this kind of stuff. And I don't necessarily mind. I do agree that the game does feel... You know, it definitely is running that line of being more methodical to um, rigid and even clunky. But that doesn't necessarily actually bother me, you know. And again, hey, I called it, right? Go watch the videos. I was like, you know what I think they're going to do to jumping? They're going to add in a Street Fighter 2 trip guard, and it's going to be like that. And they're going to make it so how before when only hard attacks caused the real back animation, maybe something like light attacks did. And guess what? They did do that, didn't they, right? That was how the change worked. But again, that's why, and just that, I don't think, it feels clunky and it feels weird, but it fits the idea of what I've said before in the videos that I think that's what they were going for this game. A very kind of slow-paced, methodical game where what they were going to try to sell you on is my RC versus your RC. And now we're going back you know, to more of the beginning where I talked about in this conversation, these other videos, is again, the system now is more important than the characters and it's a teeter-totter it's not big but it's like the game is so is it's going to be a more methodical guilty gear much more slow and this jumping change does tie in with that and i showed matches example where i'm like this is where they're going to try to sell the audience it's like wow this sort of slow methodical spacing i'm here here this whiff punish here i'm going to rc to be able to whiff punish you but then maybe your rc versus my rc it's gonna be like wow that is so hype and the thing is, it's not hype, though, because it's already two years old. And you can already see people doing that on Twitter when I saw these clips, like, oh, look at this blue eye RC drift. And then I did an overhead fuzzy mix-up. The thing is, people are posting this. This isn't new. This is two years old shit, basically, that you should have been able to tell. This isn't fucking exciting. You should have already known the game was going to work like this. I fucking told you guys. It's just going to be that more slow, methodical game, and they're going to try to Focus, really home in, really try to get, like, that's the audience hype. When you're playing the game, the audience is like, oh, man, they are seed there to punish there to get in, but then you are seed to protect yourself, blah, blah, blah. And isn't that what the game looks like it's going to be? Again, they teeter-totter. It's like they really are trying to sell you on in this game. It's like, 
again, I don't know how many fucking times I've said, how many times I've videos, that's what they're doing. So, it, again, it does feel kind of clunky with air blocking, all that kind of stuff. Not that chicken guarding is necessarily worse per se, but at least when you run away, you know, you don't get away with it for free per se, or you have to hold a little bit of pressure. But, you know, again, that doesn't necessarily bother me in a sense because the game has to be different. So it doesn't bother me, but it's like a lot of these characters, characters are already getting toned down, so it's like you didn't trust the character. We've talked about before, I think they should have some more links in the game. You know, taking away all chain combos is one thing, but man, at least add like a jab, a duck jab, duck little kick, whatever it is, to a link strong or something. Add some more links, a little bit more variety. I don't think the game actually, even if it feels clunky, whatever, again, it doesn't matter to me, but I don't think the game actually feels good to play. It still feels a little awkward, actually. So, the again, I'm rambling again. More slow methodical isn't bad, but it does feel off still, I think. And, you know, a feeling of a video game is very iffy, but I, th I still think it feels a little bad. And again, that's why I didn't talk about forward punches because I don't think forward punches were a problem. A forward punch not automatically beating a jump every time was not the problem with the game. That's why I didn't talk about that. And now you're in a correlation, doesn't equal causation. Things like forward punches were just too strong. They're too strong. Now. They're absolutely, they're bullshit. And now they're a poke because you have this methodical, slow-paced game where it's almost like ABC. I have to do a low to beat this because it beats all mid-range attacks basically you know what i mean it beats all my jumping for free again i don't know and that's something weird too i don't know why the fuck are d why the fuck are dps the most punishable thing in this game again you can't car cancel i don't again i don't know what they're calling it in this game you can't do the car cancer cancel rc with a dp unless the guy is in hit stun if the guy is in hit stun you can car cancel it of course but you can't just you know whiff whatever dp just like, you know, you're making up rules just to weaken DPs. DPs are always throwable. And DPs are the most punishable anti-air. And the thing is, most DPs, you, you can't beat. There, I, I don't know if there's not many moves that a forward punch won't beat that a DP. That a DP would beat that a forward punch would beat anyway. So DPs are basically literally just like a reversal, I guess, to go through if there's a fireball on the screen or something like that. Um just just such terrible design it's like they didn't even try like what are you doing for a year and a half that's it's what i keep telling you so again um what do you want me to say again the game i've been rambling for almost 20 minutes but it's the same shit i always talked about again teeter-tottering on the system is more important than the characters i, I always said i think they're going to try to sell you on the game the characters a little less interesting the system you really got to believe in the system they're really going to sell you in methodical game irc versus urc to get punishes that are not normally possible a mix up here and there but then if you have rc urc versus me blah 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 but that still doesn't fix the wall the wall is terribly fundamentally flawed it doesn't make sense not bad that they have a wall but whatever anyway i don't want to talk about this game anymore i don't even know if i'm gonna get it i just it's just boring to me. That's why I didn't even like really play. I was like, I just don't care. It's not new. The content creators, you guys are talking about shit that is not new. And I feel like, you know what the comments are? You know, I'm not making a lot of stupid comments. You know, my comments are bad when I actually saw some dudes trying to say, <laughs> don't listen to Clayton. He also lied about the hyper or Street Fighter Alpha results at Evo where he got second. And I saw this motherfucker, I'm like, you guys are you guys are more obsessed and butthurt that I beat you. This is just why, because I, I don't want to make a video on this per se, but I'll add this. You can go look at the comment. This guy was trying to say, like, I looked up the Evo results, and you said that someone pulled the fire alarm while you guys were in the finals. But when I read the, the Evo results, it said that you guys only played one match, and then you were not available to finish the finals or some bullshit. I don't see anything about a fire alarm. He said, and I'm like, yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Do I have to spell it out for you? We did. We played a match, and someone pulled the fire alarm, and then they tried to make up an excuse that we were not available to finish it. Do I have to spell it out for you? Like, think about that for a second. Like, this is the fucking retarded cope mism like denial of the video game community. So you're telling me it's in there that we actually played some of the finals. But it said we're unavailable to finish the finals. Does that make any sense? 
that someone would be playing the finals of Evo, a world tournament. I don't give a fuck if you think the game sucks. People liked it back then until I was beating them. Go look, you know, it's ridiculous. Um, and then even that video, they admitted they liked it too. But then I supposedly did combos that don't even exist to beat them. So really think about that logically, that you would bring this up over 10 years ago, still mad that I beat you guys. You're like, oh, well, you guys played, but then it said you were unavailable. If we were playing, how the fuck are we unavailable to, we're just playing the match like, hey, I got to go pee. I'm not going to go back. Someone pulled the fucking fire alarm, and then when they had all had us leave, we're just waiting there and like, oh, we're just going to say it's unavailable and finish it. And it's like, what? You Use your fucking brain here, dude. Anyway, I mean, I, I, I was going to go in more in depth if I had training mode to show some other shit in Strive, but what, what is new? It's old. Two years old. It's not exciting. I don't give a fuck about all these shooters making up bullshit. You know, that one guy trying to say, oh, Clayton couldn't have predicted the game because he predicted in 2019. That's exactly what the fuck it means, you fucking retard. <sighs> I feel like I'm getting stupider. Stupid review. Anyway, the end.